Introducing the next generation of machines from Onefinity CNC. We've reimagined our entire ecosystem to offer a family of products that are accessible, affordable, and we strive to outdo ourselves year after year. And this is our Gen 2 Elite Series CNC. I'm super excited to show you all the features. We'll get to that in a minute. We also added an entirely new class of machine to our lineup, the impressively powerful, adorably compact Apprentice. This little monster was designed to be an entry-level machine that lowers the barrier of entry into the exciting world of CNC. Now let's take a closer look at both, see how they're similar, see how they're different, and see why these two lines of machines are gonna carry Onefinity into the future. You're already familiar with the Elite series, which has been our most popular line of machines. Well, this is the Gen 2, it got some serious upgrades. The first of which, and probably the most glaringly obvious, is the addition of ball screw covers. If you've ever had to replace a ball nut, you understand just how important this is for any ball screw driven machine. These covers shield the ball screws from dust and debris, preventing it from settling on the ball screw and jamming up the ball nut. Now, what does that mean for you? Simply put, it significantly minimizes maintenance over the life of your machine. And our other new machine, the Apprentice, has them too. Because we believe that they're that important, from our biggest, baddest machine all the way down to the entry level ones, no one wants to replace parts. And these ball screw covers help to prevent that. Now, back to the Gen 2 Elite, what else has changed? Glad you asked. Rails, for starters. All models in the Gen 2 Elite platform get 50 millimeter Y rails, and the X rails are now 60 millimeters. That's right, the rails got even bigger, giving the machine more rigidity to cut more aggressively with the bigger, stronger motors. The Elite got a motor upgrade too. First generation Elite machines came standard with 1.2 Newton meter closed loop motors. Gen 2 machines are equipped with two Newton meter motors. That's almost twice the Newtons. Now we're using 1.2 Newton meter motors on the Apprentice. That's a lot of power for such a compact machine. That's elite level torque on a supposedly entry level CNC. Another upgrade is the Z20 heavy duty Z slider. You'll notice it looks a little different than the first gen. First obvious one is the much thicker 80 millimeter spindle mount. More meat here means more rigidity for more precise carves. Last, the Z slider got slimmer. Red Bull gives you wings, right? But our gen two slider lost them, why? By removing the wings, we're able to give you one of the most requested features by the community on our 4x4 machine. More cutting area. That's right, the Gen 2 machine now has a cutting area of 49 inches on X and 49 and 3 8 on Y. That allows for cutting a true sheet of plywood with large diameter bit and still have enough room for hold downs. Another great feature we added to the Gen 2 Elite series is the easy oil system with the magnetic bearing caps. What are those for? Well, you pull them off and you'll see that it exposes the holes in the bearing shield. Those holes are there to make it easier to put oil on the bearings, which everyone should be doing anyway, to keep their machines running smoothly. This just makes it way, way more convenient. And of course, the controller. All Gen 2 Elite machines run on a Redline CNC controller, the unbelievably powerful controller they released earlier this year. This thing has all the bells and whistles. Closed loop motor technology, super precise infrared homing sensors, 3D rendered job simulations, helpful setup animations, power recovery, jump to line, I could go on and on. And up until now, the Redline controller was only available in this touchscreen unit. Now you'll have the option to order a Gen 2 Elite machine with just the motion controller and use your laptop to run the machine using the same software and interface as in the all-in-one unit. That option keeps the cost down, saving you a bundle. And that's also how the Apprentice works, which is how we were able to keep the cost low on what I think is the best entry-level CNC in the world. And when I say entry-level, I really only mean that in the context of its size and price point. And I really actually think there's a lot of advantages to its size, and I've been told by a lot of people that it's a perfectly adequate size. It's all in how you use it. It's light enough that you could easily throw it in the car and take it along with you on outings. You can bring it to the local craft fair and personalize stuff on the spot. Heck, you could run a car while you're reeling in a sweet largemouth bass. Or you could knock out some of those Etsy orders while you're getting some work done at the park. Say you want to get your exercise in at the court, but you got some orders to fill. Bring it with you. Use your imagination. As for its price point, we wanted to make The Apprentice as widely accessible as possible, coming in at just 909. Can I say, can I say that? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Coming in at just $995. Wow. And our 4x4 Foreman, our biggest, baddest machine, starts at $2,375. 
With less maintenance, tougher engineering, and beefier components, we're doing something unheard of in this class of CNC. Five year warranty. That's right, because we believe in this product so much, and we've learned more than just about anybody else in this industry, supporting tens of thousands of users over the last five years, the Elite Gen 2 series comes with a full five year hardware warranty. What about the Apprentice? We didn't forget about that. It still leads its class with a two year hardware warranty. And of course with Onefinity, you get free lifetime North American based tech support. We're super excited about these new machines, our entire family of products and the future of Onefinity. Thank you for coming along with us on this journey and from the bottom of our hearts, thanks for being part of the family. Y'all be good.